Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format a multi-column newsletter. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a Microsoft Word document here and you'll see that it is a newsletter setup with a volume number and a date up here at the top along with the title and a logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this text below here into a multi-column newsletter. Alright, so the first thing that I like to do whenever I set up a newsletter is I go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I'm going to turn on my paragraph markers. And so I'm going to click that and you'll see that all of the paragraph markers will show up showing you the paragraph marks and anytime tab is pressed or a space. So this is helpful for managing our breaks which I'm going to show you in just a little bit but as I scroll through this document I see the text and then it's important to have a section break going to the next page on the end of the newsletter text. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight where I want my columns to begin. So I'm going to start right here at New Research on Electronic Health Records and I'm going to highlight down all the way to the end of the page right before that section break right there. And if you need help with section breaks I have a video on that as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight all the way to that point and then I'm going to move my text into a multi-column newsletter. And so the way that I do that is I go up here to the ribbon and I go to the layout tab. After I click layout I go to the page setup group and I'm going to choose the amount of columns that I want for this portion of the newsletter or for this page anyway. It says split the text into two or more columns. You could also choose the width and spacing of the columns or use one of the preset formats. So I'm going to click right here on columns and this is where I can choose two, three, left, right or more columns. I'm going to choose two for this example and you'll see here there we go, two columns are now split and you can see all of the text is fit on the page. It's looking good. Now whenever we set up a newsletter you'll notice that the font is left aligned by default. Okay, This is normal for Microsoft Word 2016 and so when we set up a newsletter we actually want it to be justified font and or justified spacing rather and so that is when the beginning of the words and the end of the words on a line are all aligned. So you'll see that there's a left align already happening, but the right line is very jagged right now. And the way that we fix that is we have to justify our text. So the way that we do that is we go to the Home tab, go here to the Paragraph group, and right here you see left align, center, right align, and then the last one is justify. If you click justify, you'll see that now the spacing is perfectly set between the lines and everything is perfectly aligned not only on the left but also the right side. As you can see scrolling down we notice that our left column is a little bit longer than our right column. This is an easy fix. One thing that we can do is we can click right before we want the column break to happen and so let's say I choose right here where this heading is that says health information privacy and security and I want this to be moved up over here I see a lot of people will press enter nonstop until it gets all the way up there. That's not a good policy. Instead what we do is we're going to insert a column break. So the way that we do that is we go up here to the layout tab. You go to the page setup group. And again with my cursor clicked right before the point that I want the break to occur, I'm going to go to the breaks button and I'm going to click that. And then right here I'm going to put a column break. And if I click that you will see that health now gets moved up here to the top right column. Okay, you can see where that's at. And then down here, you can see the column break. Now, this one is a little bit shorter than this column over here. This would be a good spot for something like a picture. So I could enter in a picture here or something else like that to kind of even out these columns. But overall, it's looking pretty good for that section of our newsletter. Now, uh, again, you can put this on multiple pages uh, at, at a time or you can do each page individually. It's really up to you, but that's how you set up different columns on your Word documents for a newsletter in this case, but you could really do it for anything that you would need columns for. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to respond to your comment. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a great rest of your day.